The easiest way to prove the so-called secret books like Enoch, Jasher, Thomas, or even the entire compilation of books called the Apocrypha of Roman Catholicism are not of God is by doing a short study on one particular item in the ancient sanctuary, and that item being the candlestick in the holy place. Now, you can access just such a study located here on my main website, but honest and diligent students of the Bible do know that the candlestick in the holy place represents all 66 books of the Bible. How do we know this? Well, when you look closely at the candlestick, you see that on each side of the main branch of the candlestick, it has three smaller branches that contain nine ornaments on each branch, which totals 27 ornaments on each side. But when you add these 27 ornaments on the first side of the candlestick to the 12 ornaments located on the main branch that holds all the smaller branches extending out, you now have 39 ornaments on that one side of the candlestick. Why 39? Well, it's because there are 39 books in the Old Testament. Now, as is obvious, there is the other side of the main branch, which also has 27 ornaments on it with those three smaller branches. But since we already added the 12 ornaments of the main branch to the previous side of the candlestick, we now have only 27 ornaments left on the remaining side. And yes, as you probably already guessed by now, those 27 ornaments represent the 27 books of the New Testament. Therefore, when you add the 39 ornaments that represent the Old Testament to the 27 remaining ornaments that represent the New Testament, you discover that the candlestick has in total 66 ornaments on it, just as the King James Bible has 66 books in it. And notice this as well. When Jesus preached to the people, when he visited us 2,000 years ago. He only used the Old Testament to preach from because that's all they had. This actually confirms why the first side of the candlestick with the 27 ornaments fits so well with the 12 ornaments of the main branch that students of prophecy know actually represents Jesus Christ himself as he shared his light onto all people 2,000 years ago. And the biblical fact is, Jesus is declared to be that branch in both Zechariah 3, verse 8, and Zechariah 6, verse 12. Now, for a word of warning. Those claiming we need to add the so-called secret or censored books of Enoch, Jasher, Thomas, or even the Apocrypha, the priests of Rome, to the Bible in these last days, you need to be very aware that if you continue to declare such things as this, you will most assuredly die in the soon-to-come seven last plagues. See Revelation 22, 18. If you add books to the Bible, that which God has not spoken or inspired, then it clearly says in that prophecy that God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And so the biblical fact is, you cannot add a single book to the Bible today any more than you can go back in time to add ornaments to that candlestick in the holy place. God declared his word to be complete in 66 books. And it is there. It will remain. Thank you for watching. God bless.